November 2nd, 2017. Surprising news was published in the British scientific journal Nature. As the title says, it was about the discovery of a big void in Khufu's pyramid. Studies have shown that aside from the previously known three chambers, there is another chamber inside. This is the first new inner structure discovered in the Great Pyramid since the 1800s. It has been revealed that there were two voids in total, and the larger one was at least 30 meters long. Hypotheses and questions regarding the secret chamber inside the Great Pyramid have been theorized ever since. However, nothing has been proven as there were limitations in both technology and the excavation process. But thanks to today's advanced technology and excavation equipment, we are now able to use state-of-the-art technology to scan the inner part of the ruins and inspect things through virtual images, which was impossible to do in the past. This time, advanced scanning technology called muography was used to carry out the work. An international team of researchers investigating the Great Pyramid used muons, which are byproducts of cosmic rays. Similar to X-rays, muography utilizes the nature of muons, penetrating rocks. With this technology, the team was able to image the inner part of the Great Pyramid and create a map out of it, allowing them to discover a previously unknown chamber. This is a premiere. It could be composed of one or several structures. Maybe it could be another grand gallery. It could be a chamber. It could be a lot of things. Mehdi Tayyubi, the co-director of the Scan Pyramids project, added that the chamber seems to have been hidden since the beginning of the Great Pyramid's construction. According to Aidan Dodson, an Egyptologist from the University of Bristol, UK, although the newly discovered chamber is unlikely to contain any artifacts relating to the king's burial, it could contain secrets about pyramid building techniques. There must be a reason why the empty space exists inside, which suggests that it may be closely related to the Great Pyramid's construction method or design. With this relatively recent scanning technology, secrets of the Great Pyramid are being revealed one by one. In 2016, controversy arose as certain stones inside the Great Pyramid of Khufu have an unusually high temperature compared to the others. Observation showed that these stones' temperature is 6 degrees Celsius higher than other stones, despite not being exposed to as much sunlight. This was also associated with the vortex, which has been consistently advocated by experts on supernatural phenomena. The vortex phenomenon is a hypothesis that there are places with coherent natural energy spread all across the Earth. Additionally, there is also a hypothesis that during their time, ancient people built giant structures such as the pyramids and the Stonehenge to harness that natural energy. Scholars have suggested the possibility that the high-temperature hotspots inside the Great Pyramid may be related to the newly discovered empty space. Could there be something that radiates heat on its own inside the Great Pyramid? British ecologist-turned-Egypt researcher Alex Whitaker argued that there could be further hidden chambers beneath the monument. Unfortunately, the Great Pyramid's underground passage was cut off partway through, so it has not been explored since then. According to Whitaker, it might have been blocked on purpose, and there might be other hidden passages as well. He cited the records by Herodotus, an ancient Greek historian who personally visited the pyramids, whose passages are extremely odd. The ten years aforesaid went to the making of this road and of the underground chambers on the hill whereon the pyramids stand. These the king meant to be burial places for himself, and encompassed them with water, bringing in a channel from the Nile. This can also be found in the records of ancient Roman naturalist Pliny the Elder. The underground chambers of the pyramids in the Nile were connected through a well shaft. The earliest records of the Great Pyramid of Khufu refer to the underground chambers and water as well. Unfortunately, no real evidence has been discovered to support such records left by historians. The most recent record of the underground chambers dates from 1817, around 200 years ago. We can find a similar passage to Herodotus's in the memoirs of Henry Salt, the British consul general in Egypt at the time. Salt recorded how he explored hundreds of yards of the Great Pyramid's inner part with Italian explorer Giovanni Caviglia. Although it did not receive the attention of academia due to lack of evidence, this certainly suggests that some sort of space does exist beneath the Great Pyramid. Whitaker claimed that this served as a physical reminder of the promised underworld that ancient Egyptians believed. His claim was refuted by Egyptian authorities and other scholars and did not gain much support. However, it has recently been brought to the spotlight once again, thanks to the possibility of an empty space existing inside the Great Pyramid. Now, the international research team is preparing to implement a plan to drill a small hole in the Great Pyramid before inserting a robot to investigate the secret spaces inside. Modern technology versus ancient secrets. Who will win? And what could the Egyptians possibly have hidden inside the Great Pyramid 4,500 years ago? This has been Strange Night.